Like we see things like the cholesterol levels starting to elevate. Now we've got all these fatty deposits from our undigested meats that are circulating through our bloodstream. They start to layer, okay, on the walls of the blood vessels. As well as that, that acid, if it's circulating through the blood, it can start to scar and damage the artery walls. That leads to something called arteriosclerosis. And we start to lose, okay, the wall membrane. So the liver will start producing cholesterol. And that will start to layer the walls, okay, of the blood vessel. Next minute, the cholesterol levels are starting to elevate. So what do we take for our cholesterol? Lipitor, to lower the cholesterol. Do these things address the root cause of the problem or do they only hit the symptom? They only hit the symptom, don't they guys? This is what we need to be aware about. We can take ownership of our body. Okay, and this is why I do these presentations to teach you guys how to become your own doctors. So you can be conscious, take ownership of what's going on inside your body. Now we move on to cancer, ladies and gents. It was proven, not last year, not the year before, but in the year 1937 by a Nobel Peace Prize winner that identified that if you take 60% of the oxygen content out of a cell, that cell starts to become carcinogenic. 60% of the oxygen content. How many people in the room knew that? No hands go up. Ladies and gents, we have a look at the standard American diet today, or the standard Australian diet. Okay, and we have a look at the majority of what we consume today. All our animal products sit here on this scale. Okay, all the processed food sits here on this scale. All the pasteurized dairy. Okay, all the sugar sits here on this scale. All the cooked processed foods, ladies and gents. Can we see over time how this might start to impact the amount of oxygen that's circulating through the body? Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's also been proven that if you keep your body in an alkaline state of health, cancer cells will not generate. They cannot survive in an alkaline body. Because guess what alkalinity foods are very, very high in? Oxygen, ladies and gentlemen. How many people want to take ownership of 95% of diseases that might potentially enter their body over their lifetime? Just a show of hands. Beautiful, ladies and gents. Be everyone's hands should be up right now, okay? And this is the reality today, is that you have the ability to do that. We keep our system alkaline, we keep our body in a clean state. We keep our body disease free. Guys, over time, okay, we might start to see visual appearance of this as well. If you're starting to get water retention around here, do you think that's going to affect circulation down to the legs? So we might start to see lack of circulation to the legs, cold hands, cold feet. We might start to see swelling and edema, which is an indication that the lymphatic system is quite congested. We might start to see varicose veins starting to build up around the back of the legs. Okay, that's circulation problems, okay, coming down to the extremities. Ladies, you might start to physically see something sitting, okay, around the hips and the thighs. There's a name for it, it starts with C. Cellulite, how many women in the room would love to lose cellulite if I could click my magic fingers? Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about exactly what it is. Cellulite's a French term, a scientific term that was identified by a French doctor. When we get toxic fat cells, it was proven that if you have these toxic fat cells sitting in your body for a minimum of seven years, we start to have all this water retention sitting underneath the surface layer of the skin. If you've got water retention sitting underneath the surface layer of the skin for too long, that's going to start changing the elasticity of the skin. And it starts leading, okay, to a disfiguration on the surface of the skin, also known as cellulite. Met gentlemen, can gentlemen get rid of can gentlemen get cellulite? They can as well, but you don't physically see it in a man because our skin's thicker. It's about 13% thicker than a female. And so in males, the identification of cellulite is that hard suspended belly that we see built up in a male body. You see that it's hard like a rock. All that crustacean, all that toxicity sitting in the body, storing there. Now, for a gentleman, do you think it's more dangerous if we've got all that toxicity storing here? Absolutely it is. What sits around these areas of the body? All our vital organs. Yeah, what's the two biggest things that we see take men out today? The heart disease, the colon cancer. Okay, both of those areas sit here in the body. Now, heart disease, ladies and gents, blood pressure problems. You've got all this water, all this swelling, all this fluid stacking up around here, do you think that's gonna limit the ability of the blood to circulate through the body? What's gonna start happening to blood pressure? Starts elevating, yeah? Anyone ever heard of um, taking diuretics? Why do you think we take diuretics? Reduce fluid retention in our body. Why have we got the fluid retention? Because of too much? 
Acidity, yeah. Can everyone see what I'm talking about here? Ladies and gents, how many people can relate to one or more of these symptoms that I've just spoke about on this board, just a show of hands? Okay, now ladies and gents, when we talk about detoxification of the body, how many people want to learn how to do it? We talk about removing all of the acid out of the system. That's the process of detoxing. Cleansing, eliminating and getting rid of. What's the opposite to acidity? Alkalinity, yeah? So what do you think we're going to want to be using to detoxify our body? Alkaline. Alkaline foods, alkaline nutrition and alkaline lifestyle. So ladies and gents, I want you to think about what the majority of our body is made up of today. Water. 70% of the body is made up of water. Now what's 70% of the earth made up of? Water, yes. Now we want to start changing our lifestyle here to detoxify. It takes time. We didn't accumulate these overnight. Our body's not just going to eliminate them over three or four days. This is a process of cleansing. Now we've got to start raising and start eating more alkaline foods. What do you think our alkaline foods are? Our fruits and vegetables, yep. A lot of our fruits and veggies are alkaline. Now as well as that, we've got a lot of water in our system. Have a look outside of the oceans, ladies and gents. And think about this, every day we put pollution into the oceans. Waste, rubbish, congestion. Starts to accumulate in our oceans today. Oil spills, damaging and affecting the sea life. Every day you look outside, you'll start to see natural plants that grow in the ocean that are helping to circulate and keep the oceans clean, filtering the ocean, alkalizing the water, keeping the oxygen coming into the cells. Do you know what I'm physically talking about? What do you see growing in the oceans today? We see algae and we see seaweed. Yes, these are nature's natural cleansers. Now I wish we could just do it all on fruits and veg guys, but our fruits and veg today, the quality of it's dropped considerably. A lot of times it's sprayed with a bunch of pesticides and insecticides, herbicides and fungicides. What effect does that do for our body? Toxic for the system, okay? Destroys the nutrient value, destroys the digestive tract. Your alkaline fruits and veg, your organic are the ones to go for that are sitting between seven to nine on this scale, especially the ones that are very green, very rich in something called chlorophyll, okay? What color do you think of when you see algae and seaweed? Green, very rich in chlorophyll. The way that they work, they come to the surface of the water. They grow. They use nature's most powerful energy system. What is it? Photosynthesis, the sun. Take the, take the sun's energy, convert it into a chemical energy, and then use that energy as a mechanism to help to clean and filter. Very, very powerful organisms. Algae and seaweed is also nature's richest natural alkaline. Sits up here, 98% alkaline. There's about 252 different types. You start introducing a very strong alkaline that lives in water into our body. That's a plant that our body can metabolize. And you introduce this into these acidic areas. What do you think is going to start happening to all this acidity? Basic chemistry, ladies and gents. An acid and an alkaline meat, they start neutralizing. They neutralize. They help to remove fat-soluble acidic toxins and put them into the water-soluble forms that our body can start to eliminate and cleanse. How we eliminate them when they're in a water-soluble form? Drinking more, not wine. Drinking more what? Water, a big elimination process in the body. Now it takes a little bit of time, ladies and gents. Okay, but over time, if we start to get our system functioning effectively, the algaes come into the system and they start to circulate through the bloodstream they come to all the areas where this water is and they start to alkalize tissue. They start to cleanse these fat cells. They start to eliminate the toxicity out of the tissue. They help to filter and drain the lymphatic system, exercising our body, drinking more water. These things help to flush and support the process. They help to drain the lymph and the lymph nodes. All the nutrients in the body circulate through the blood, alkalizing the blood, energizing the bloodstream removing and producing and filtering all the way back to the filter in our body, our liver. And over time, we can help to cellular regenerate, cleanse and clean the liver. Now, ladies and gents, to go through a process of properly eliminating all of these chemicals in the system, how long do you think it takes the body to really do this? How long do you think it would take your system? Forever. Takes time, doesn't it? You don't get there overnight, mate, and I like the mindset that you've got.